It's good knowing he's out there, the dude. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Just like we told me. Cries himself to sleep that night, but the next morning, what does he do? He practices. I mean, come on. How do you guys expect to beat me? But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. Did you, did you think that was good? Tell me I'm good. Tell me it was good. Tell me I'm good. There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. You look like a good job. That was all right. Good job. All right. Sweet. Camera wasn't up. Excellent. I am always one step behind my evil nemesis myself, my other, my other self. What's going on, everybody? Um, it's Good Joe Show number five. We're doing another piece of fan art in a couple hours. And um, I feel like the more I look at my progress and look at like what I'm getting better at, um, I'm noticing that like uh, half of the skills that you need to do this on stream are social. So it's almost like my brain is getting better at talking and maybe drawing or, or not, but mostly that, um, mostly that that's another skill that I need to like kind of get better at anyway. But, um, Drawing without talking is another thing. I you you use too many CPUs. At least I do when I when I have to attend to chat. But it's way more fun that way. So um, I will not change that up. I do like talking to you guys, and that's the whole point. Um, so it's something I'll have to get better at and and manage my my time. But I'm I've got a feeling that this time it's going to go swell. Uh, this time we want to do characters from indie books. And I'm hoping that, um, yeah, we'll have a good crowd of uh, first time creators to, you know, boost their, their own IP and, uh, at the same time, give me some practice. So, uh, Coleman's up in here supporting the chat, like solo over here. What's going on, Coleman? Uh, you're voting for Nancy Moon. I vote for Nancy Moon. Is that a... Which one's Nancy Moon? Is that, um, is that, uh, um, why am I blanking on the book? Is that the, uh, what's, what's, what's the book called? Testimonials or something? Is that from that book? Um, let me know. Anyway, uh, let me know what the sound sounds like. Anybody who's popping in here. Good Joe needs help with sound, uh, per usual. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah, I'm going to set up my camera here and we're going to vote um, on a character. I feel like there are several that were talked about um, on Twitter. And so we're going to pick one of those. It's going to be fun. All right. Mean In the meantime, I got to make sure this camera gets working the right way. I've been using my iPhone for the second camera and it, it works pretty well, but uh, sometimes it doesn't recognize, uh, where my phone's at and stuff. So let's see if this works actually. Uh, that's not what I wanted, buddy. Recognize where my phone is, please. There we go. I heard it. Sweet. So we're going to do this, put this camera up here. Sweet. That should help. And then uh, I'm going to connect it and get going. Give us a little buffer time. Okay, so that's the camera. We're all set. Billy Basco, what up, dude? Mythicals. Mythicals. What, what did I say? Testimonials? <laughs> uh, that tells you where my brain's at. I haven't been able to draw or think about uh, anything besides 
day job stuff uh, today. But Billy Vasco is here. What up? We're going to be drawing some first time creator character and it's going to be fun. Um, so let's move this wire out of the way. There we go. I actually have a little timer back there, which seems like it's right in the way of like where the glare would be. Let's see. So maybe I can tilt it. Is that even readable for you guys? Let's see. I think if I go into this mode, you can read it for sure. Yeah. You can totally read it from here. Um, but yeah, that's, I wanted to put a timer, uh, but I might have to be on my desk. I, but I will probably get a digital timer. I think that's the smarter move. Get a digital timer and maybe throw it up here somehow. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's, let's do this voting thing. Uh, hopefully there's some folks up in here. Uh, ready to throw down a vote. Let me let me put a poll up. So the ones that I saw, well, for sure. Uh, let's just say what debut indie comics uh, character, or let's just say what first time. Indie comic character, are we drawn? Okay. So, said Nancy Moon is her name? Nancy Moon. It's a good name. I really dig that name. So, Nancy Moon, we're throwing up there. Is Chad, is that his first book, Billy? I don't like if it's his first time, uh, if it's his first creator owned book, then I'll I'll put it up um, now even. Um, so let me know. Yeah, if it is, I'll, I'll throw it down. I'll put I got four options on the on the poll. So I'm going to put it here. I'll put Black Phantom down. Um, I'm basically I usually. Dude, I usually just go with whoever's in chat. And whoever's throwing out characters that they actually want to see uh, be drawn, even though they've talked about it on Twitter, if they don't show up to the stream, you know, uh, why do I? Why would I draw it? Um, well, obviously because the character is cool, but mostly because I want to have the chat really be the deciding factor. So um, I know we have Reaper Destroyer, and that would seem to be cool. Or Type One, I also have in the in the cover. Uh, shout out anybody else. I had some other people on the thumbnail for this. Uh, I had Egg Beater from Ali's, Ali's Egg Beater. I can put that up because that would be interesting. I have no clue what kind of horror character I would actually draw, but um, let's just do, if I can find the image. I can't, I totally forgot even what I had. Oh, the other one was um, Hoover, Hoover from Alterna. That seems like a weird character. I'll put that down. Okay, so I'm going to put down uh, Hoover from Alterna. And then lastly, you guys let me know. Do you want me to put down, do you think Type 1 deserves the love? Or do you, do you want to go to his bro, to the other Joe? Uh, do you want it to go to the other Joe Reaper Destroyer? I feel like um, either of those have been good, uh, but I was waiting for any other the other creators to show up to spout their own characters out here. Um, but yeah, right now we got Nancy Moon, Black Phantom, Hoover uh, from Alterna, and the last one, probably Reaper, um, just because he's... I don't know. I feel like I could do a good type one as well. Um, so who knows? I could do both. All right, whatever. I'm just putting it in. I'm going to put Reaper down. 
All right, so let's get a let's get a vote up in here, dude. Start poll. Hopefully, I spelled things correctly. Start the polling. The polling begins. Um, I should have music for the poll. The polling. Um, Cool. Okay. Now that's the Shinobi soundtrack. We did that last time. Let's do something else if it'll play. All right, let's do it. So, H.H. <laughs> H. Hoover, but I'm a biased because I'm the creator. Yes, dude. Uh, it looks cool. Um, Show me, throw me a little bit of a, a backstory for Hoover. Um, just, I'm just curious anyway. Um, but definitely vote for sure. Vote. There's a poll. There's a poll in the chat. Just go vote. Uh, type one seems very in my wheelhouse. Yes, for sure. I put down Reaper just because the other Joe um, is a good guy and has definitely helped out in the past. Uh, not that Sean hasn't, but. You know, got to help out the other Joes. I never draw a female character. I drew, I drew uh, Ellie or whatever from Bancroft, dude. I drew Ellie from, that was my second stream. We drew Bancroft's underwear lady. Um, she counts, you know what I mean? Right. Let's see where this poll's at. Let's see what this poll's looking like. Okay, we have six votes. It's literally tied. <laughs> it's tied between uh, it's tied between Nancy Moon, Black Phantom, uh, and Hoover. So we need a tiebreaker, guys. We need one of you, one of your friends come in here and get your one of your friends to like break the tie. Okay, so he's an occult detective, 1920s, a little weird, a little funny, pretty fun, dude. Um, one a little short story. I uh, one of the first things I ever tried to draw, or my first like collaboration, um, was with a guy trying to do a um, like a Lovecraftian version of Superman. Um, not that he would be the he wouldn't be the like the the old god. He would. It was just in this in this world of like nineteen twenties. And, uh, you know, when he crash lands, there's just more of that kind of, uh, old godness. So I think he gets confused for being like one of these creepy old gods. Uh, but then he turns out to actually have to fight one of the old gods that like Luther, like is resurrecting. Um, I think that would be a really cool story, but that was one of the first things I ever drew. Um, I can even show one of the panels from that. Um, I remember distinctly drawing Superman's laser eyes, almost like, old school cannon like fire like it was very smoky like his eyes like smoked at the same time um very cannon fire but yeah pretty cool i i thought it was cool um i may steal that idea down the road and just somebody should just like do that not call it superman and it, i think it would be a good a good uh good thing dude ali's here we you, you showed up slightly late i would have put you in the poll um technically um, right now we have a, a leader in the poll, um, Black Phantom's winning, um, but Nancy Moon and Hoover from Alterna is just tailing behind that, but good to see you, Allie. Um, I met Allie in Tampa when we, me and, me and Zaid went over there to Tampa and met a bunch of the, the CG folks. It was fun, fun times. Um. Anyway, I'm going to get this timer off the lamp because I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Let's see. Let me. If I put this here, are you able to see? Let's see. Is it readable? Can you read the time? I can't see on my screen. Let me know if that's readable. Can you read the time back there? 
Dude, we're, we're ironing out this stream. This is going to be a great one. Um, I've lost 15 minutes, um, but I think it'll just be one of those streams where I get a little less time to do things. Um, we're going to try to change it up just a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a page of, while well, we're finishing up the poll, um, if anybody jumps in here, I'm just going to do a little bit of a warm up. I think my phone camera is flipped the wrong way. There we go. It does that every time, I think. Okay, cool. Much better. So a lot of people do warm ups, like doing straight lines and stuff. I think that's useful, but um, I'm decent at it. Uh, I think what I'm harder to do is uh, I try to put these fire shapes in all my drawings. I think that's the key to drawing is like this. The key to drawing is essentially like using good shapes on all of, on all of your all of your work. So um, somebody used to say it this way. Uh, if you can't make pretty designs, make some pretty lines. And um, that's kind of the whole point. So like even if you have the goal is to like if you're going to make a shadow shape, make the, even the shadow shape or the light shape, all good shapes. And so, uh, yeah, um, what I like to practice is getting like these kind of flame shapes. They're like S curves, the beauty line, but I like to call them fr flame kind of shapes because I don't know, I think I just envision, um, envision it differently if I, if I talk about it that way. And let me put it on the camera. How about that? There we go. Um, but yeah, I need to just loosen up. I think that has been the, the flaw, the flaw for a lot of my drawings is that I'm not loose enough to, to really get a good feel when I first draw. All right, let's see what we got. It's still Black Phantom. So Black Phantom will be the character if no one votes otherwise. So either get your friends in here to, to vote for your, for your favorite characters or, um, you know, Otherwise, we're drawing Black Phantom, which not, I'm not adverse to Black Phantom because he's he's kind of an interesting character. I don't know a whole lot about him. Maybe someone can fill me in. Um, but yeah, interesting. Draw some circles, warm up a little bit. I haven't drawn all day. That's the that's why we're doing this. Okay. Um, Yeah, definitely my lines are not confident. I think it's the that's the difference between like warm ups and not warming up for me is like the confidence level of where your line's gonna go is way, way worse when you're not warmed up. But anyway, all right, so I got a few lines in at least. C's, S's and I's. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like uh I see a lot of people do C's, but I don't I prefer ellipses. I feel like it, it covers that aspect of it. C's are kind of, to me, C's are maybe lazier ellipses personally, but um, I think it's harder to pull off an ellipse, especially if you try to do the the perspective ones where you have the box or whatever, uh, and then you try to draw the ellipse within each each side, because then you have to like get the, the minor and major axes right. Um, that's what I like to do. Okay. But let's, uh, get some music going. We're going to call it. That's it. Black Phantom's the guy. Uh, and we're going to do it that way. Let's do some black, black Phantom. Anybody got a backstory for black Phantom? I'm going to pull up his Indiegogo or I'm not even sure where, um, where his thing is. Is it on Indiegogo or is it just like on fun, my comic or something? I searched it and I see it on uh, Indiegogo. So it's in demand. See the character. Okay, it reads, Black Phantom is on a mission to infiltrate a secret base that manufactures the V2 rockets bombing London. He must find a V2 radio antenna and signal allied bombers to its location. Read this epic action-packed comic full of vampires, ghouls, and exciting battle with Horn Toad. I like that guy already. Horn Toad, bro. <laughs> Uh, 23 pages of comic book action. Black and white does not include gore. Or does include gore. <laughs> I like a, 
<laughs> It'd be great if you like actually specified uh, not including gore. That would be pretty funny. Um, artwork is 100% finished. Awesome, dude. I like always hearing that. Um, let's see. A Blount the Black Phantom. Through the power of a mystical key, he's walking. He's a he's a walking dead man known as the Black Phantom. The skeleton key he wears around his neck is both his strength and his weakness. Separated from it, he's just another stiff. With it, or um, with it, blood worms that wait. The punctuation here is weird. With it, blood worms that fill his body can detach, dismember limbs, or change its his appearance to a dead person he comes in contact with. He's changed his appearance so many times that he's lost memory of his true identity. This seems like, um, what's his name from My Hero Academia? The the twinning guy. The twinning dude. I feel like that's what's what's happening here. Um, okay. Looks good. Looks cool. He's kind of exaggerated, but I get to do my own style. Horn Toad looks pretty sweet. Um, dude, Horn Toad's got an extra set of arms. He's... He's like got an extra set of, set of pecs, extra extra set of arms. Very cool. Um, I dig it. Um, but yeah, let's do Black Phantom. So he's a dead guy. He's a dead guy walking, but he knows assassin stuff, I guess. Did he just did he say what that was? Let's see. Uh, wears around his neck uh, the skeleton key that he wears around his neck. Okay. Either way. We're doing it. Let me pull up some ref. I'm sure Chad's got some uh, stuff on Indiegogo here, or, or rather is uh, Twitter. Okay. Where, where, where? All right, we're just gonna go with what's on Indiegogo. I can think I can I think I can pull this off from his Indiegogo images here. All right, sweet. Yo, what's up? A drink with crazy. How you doing, dude? Come hang out. Uh, we're gonna be drawing some. Uh, Some black phantom. Sorry for hitting the mic. All right, let's do it. Okay. We don't need the ruler right now, anyway. <clears throat> let's do it. All right, so. I think screw thumbnailing. Um, I think we're just gonna go for the main event here. I'm just gonna go with the light, I'm gonna definitely light box, but um, screw doing the thumbnail. Save some time. You know what I mean? Cool. All right. Frost Comics, what's up? Thank you for coming to buy. Make sure you guys like the video because regardless, I draw I draw characters all the time each week and give it away to chat and it helps to spread the word about the, uh, the, the stream, the channel. So like the video, send me a like, send me a subscription if you want to. I'm getting closer and closer to monetization and when that comes, maybe I can put a little fund going for like a, some supplies or whatever, who knows what else. Plastic Sandy for the campaign shows the character pretty well. Yeah, it is like a like a concept ish type of of outline. Um, I do like it. Okay. Good call. Good call there, Billy. Glad you're here. Um, so, all right. So and hey, Reese is here. What's up, Reese? Good to see you stop by. Um, we are drawing a indie comics character. We're going to do this thing for for reals. Uh, 
Uh, but first we have to draw a, first we're drawing a, uh, like a underdrawing. So let's do that. And we're gonna put on some music because whenever I don't, it feels a little bit empty. Though I do forget to talk when, when I put on the music, that's for sure. We could put on the Star Circuit soundtrack for a minute. Let's try that. Okay, and then we'll change it up. No worries. Let's do um, let's do some of this. What I want to do is what kind of action shot do I want? Okay. Look at the standee. Does it show where he puts his gun? He's got a holster? Okay. So I think I'm gonna have him pull out a sword or two. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Going full figure on this one, guys. He says, come on, say, give us another Shinobi. How has more music options? Uh, but did you play, uh, did you see F-Zero is getting a new release? Yeah, it got a, a 99, um, a Nintendo 99 release, right? Uh, which is pretty cool. Floating in our space vibes with that music. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, one of the opening tracks for Star Circuit. But you, you want Shinobi? I can always do Shinobi, dude. I, I like We'll do some tracks from Shinobi, just because it feels more in vibe what this guy is. He's got swords and stuff. Love me some Shinobs. Okay. hearing something.
Yeah, F Zero looks like it's gonna be a fun like it's it's like an arena style not arena style it's like a what do they call those games? I don't know why I'm blanking on the type of game you know like PUBG, Fortnite stuff. It's in that style where it's like eliminating sort of an elimination type of style thing. Um, but it fits it fits racing games really well, so I'm not gonna complain. I haven't jumped on it yet. I probably get destroyed, but yeah, it's. I like how there's competition there. Deciding what I want here. I always go for like the weird stuff first. I always try the weird, sh the, the weird poses go first. Okay, weird pose. Let's see. Oh, you wanted the old 16-bit engine uh, Sega stuff? No, dude, I'm I'm all I'm all Shinobi from PS2. The old Sega stuff is good. Um, obviously, I really dig um, most of what comes out of that. But um, yeah, the PS2 Shinobi is my my jam. The game-wise, but the music's pretty good. It's not bad. Let's see. What was I jamming to the other day? It was video gamey. Forget. All right. Yeah, let's do a. Uh... Okay, I like how it's not giving me anything. <laughs> Maybe Streets of Rage? Streets of Rage, uh... That sounds good. This'll be fun. <laughs> this is for you, Billy. This soundtrack, Street of Rage 2, is probably one of the best soundtracks around.
Hmm. Can't figure out what I want there, but. That's good enough to get a start on the next one. Might be too... Okay. Yo, Bancroft, what's up, dude? We're doing uh, Black Phantom tonight. Okay. Okay, I think we can move on. Okay, so. Let's line this thing up here. Um, it's a little too wide on the stance, but I'm gonna probably correct that. I envision what I want here. And I'm probably going to take a chance. Sometimes I do this where I like the underdrawing, but I use it as like a backup. Um, I'll probably give it another shot raw, <laughs> a raw uh, first attempt again on the main page and just see what happens. And then uh, see if I need a... <laughs> Dude, Streets of Rage is so funny. Um, it's a beast, beast of a soundtrack. <laughs> okay. Where's my eraser and stuff? Okay. All right, so before we do that, go with a new sheet because it just gives me more backup plans. Another backup option. Okay. Hmm. I 
a little stiff there. Don't want you stiff, buddy. Hmm. All right. Okay. I hear the thunder, I hear, hopefully the stream stays up, okay.
Now I have to compare what I got. We're trying something a little different today. So we go with standard pose or more action-y. I'm gonna go with the uh, play box just because I think I can make it correct because there's a lot of wrong with it, but I think I can make it work. This music's hilarious though. Uh, dude, Streets of Rage <laughs> goes way back. character now. Now I get to do my own verge, which will be fun. Hmm. It's kind of skull-like to me, right? It's like a skull with a mask, but I don't want it to be too Spider-Man-like, so I'm going to go more skull. More skull shape. I don't even know my timer. My timer is at 34 minutes. I started it before I started drawing, but that's a good one to go with, just so I can know.
Yo, James. What's up, dude? Um, we are doing Black Phantom by Chad Townsend. Kind of like a ninja dead guy. <laughs> Music's pretty out there though. Sometimes you gotta jump. All right, let's see. He's got these kind of like really round shoulder armor. Yeah, me. Uh, I, I've I've seen uh, Black Phantom around in the indie comics scene, um, you know, being funded, but I haven't seen a whole lot of the character. Uh, but that's the whole point of the stream is like we're doing a first time character this time instead of something well known. These shapes remind me of like bells, you know, like the bell shape that like Christmas uh, kind of. Style bells, I guess. Jingle bells. stiff there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Thanks for letting them know, Billy. Champion over there.
Does he have pouches on his arms? I can't even think with that battle music. No pouches, just cloth or something. Did not underdraw the hand, but we'll find our way. Okay, that's enough of that soundtrack. <laughs> I swear it's a good soundtrack, I swear. Put on some Hollow Knight, dude. One of my favorite games. Let's do some of that. Need more some chill, some more chill stuff here.
How many pouches has this guy got? Alright. Maybe a little low. These crosses are a little bit... A little bit low. It's, we're in pencils, so I guess we'll do what pencils allow for. does have a belt. It's kind of around the hip bones. That's kind of right here. I love this freaking game. <laughs> Brings back so many memories. Thank you. 
Does he have four or five fingers? I think he's got five. Yo, it, Itchy's here, dude. Ictus, what's up, dude? Total excellence, dude. I'm drawing um, Black Phantom tonight. I saw you contributed to the list, but I couldn't find it in the Twitter notifications. <laughs> I, get like, I looked for like five minutes to find your character, but I could not find it for the life of me. Okay, should be more to the back. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it. Doing my best here. Yeah, dude, it was fun. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Itchy or Ictus here um, has his own channel and he's a colorist. So um, I think it's just her name, right? But yeah, you should go check it out, guys. Check out other artists out there. figure out is this other way it is it is dependent on everything here so
try to angle this down a little bit. Yeah, dude, I had fun watching you uh, color Snake. It was pretty... I, I Believe it or not, I, I don't think there's many other times I can remember where I watched somebody color my work. There's been a couple, but, man, I can count them on, a, on, on uh, my hand. So, for sure. It's night and day once you get a little bit warmed up and just like your lines go a little bit more where you want them to. cool so far. I'm wondering what I'm going to do with this arm. The shoulder pad is, seems like it's in the right spot, but if it is, the arm would be more visible. If it's there, then we'd see bicep there or something similar. Okay. It's got these little circular caps. It's got these kind of like boots, so I gotta give him like a, a boot kind of sole. I must draw his sole. I 
Let's see, how curved are these swords? In the cover, it looks pretty curved. On his back, they're kind of straighter. Give it a little bit of a curve. Also knows he's got some pouches down here. Did I lose my music? What's going on? I think I did. Huh. 
timer says an hour and ten. Yeah, so far so good, Reese. So. Just do normal sheep shape here. Reference again.
I like those crates. He's fighting in a warehouse in this thing, so let's do a little bit of that. Reconfiguring this anatomy a little bit. All right, it's eight of four. We got a half hour, pretty much. thing. Let's 
Let's see if that'll work out. I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay. Here goes. Let's do a strong finish. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Pull back a little bit. And for you guys, it looks a little bit wonky because it's uh, it's like that. But it's okay from my angle. Yeah. 
Yo, Billy, you're back. What's up? Yeah, this is rad. Really digging it. Chad's concept for animation. Your feels like live action movie version. Yeah, dude, for sure. Fifteen minutes. Technically I have a half an hour. I started way late, but I'm gonna keep to the schedule. Let's see what I can get done in the time.
I was gonna move this pouch, but don't have time. Hey, Comics Legend. Uh, will I also be streaming doing pages of Star Circuit? Generally not, because it gives me... Um, I do way more work when I don't stream. Generally... Yeah, my whole... <laughs> my whole work process is... oriented around not streaming while I work. But... Um, maybe there'll be a couple of instances where that can happen. Speaking of, I'm going to take a break and let's talk some Star Circuit. Um, first off, whoa, where's the camera at? Um, since you're here. Since you guys are here, dude, let me, let me talk a little Star Circuit. I'm working on Chapter 2 of Star Circuit. If you guys don't know what Star Circuit is, it's my cyberpunk racing book. Um, it's a comic that I've been working on for a long time. Uh, chapter one is out. It's on my website, uh, Veravia Studios, or just do StarCircuitComic.com, and you'll get there. Uh, so I've been working on a new website right now, and the website is nearly done. You're gonna get a new look. You're gonna get a preview, a free preview of the book. You're gonna get um, a lot of the um, art that I put up there, but just in a better format, easier to find, kind of synopsis and, and character layouts or, or char character like profiles for everybody. Um, but yeah, check out my check out my Star Circuit 2 trailer for the second chapter here. So yeah, Star Circuit, um, <laughs> that's like this kind of really vibing trailer that I, I made for the teaser. Um, so Star Circuit 2 kind of picks up naturally where Star Circuit Chapter 1 left off. But the general pitch for the book is, uh, and I wrote a new one for this new website, so I'll, I'll give you guys this new pitch. Um, so in the far future, technology has now progressed to a point where humans um, or, or rather human labor is like irrelevant. Um, and, and so essentially, uh, everything revolves around entertainment now. It's like, um, entertainment and this kind of high speed motorcycle race that, um, only androids, these extremely honed androids are able, are able to compete. In. And so, uh, humans kind of are kind of outclassed and, now we're like 80 years down the road, all attempts that we've made to like try to compete in that as like a, um, a human like effort has ended in, in pretty bad tragedy. So, um, either way, the main character is kind of obsessed with this or we the guy we follow is a street racer. And after his family's like ripped apart by, uh, the very tech that sustains society, the only thing that kept him going is this idea that maybe, this delusion of racing in the star circuit 
this race um, like is actually possible. And so he's kind of got that on mind and it, it nothing really changes until one day he kind of gets cybernetically linked with this long lost racing legend. And from there um, he may finally figure out together how to do the impossible and win this race. So that's the, the pitch on it. Um, I'm sure I'll get better at doing that. Stumbled a little bit, but either way, it's a, it's a, um, crazy kind of, uh, racing type of uh, scenario in this new uh, chapter. The androids, uh, are kind of almost in the back burner a little bit, but there are these ninja type of, uh, guys that, um, the villain is kind of sent out and and now he's kind of on the run from these these assassins as he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on with his brain um so yeah uh star circuit oh dude i know i always give the warning and i forgot to give it this time i i really did um i've got to re-upload it for some reason Streamyards version like is really loud um but yeah Dude, I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's a toss up. It's like, do I keep going and, and work on, uh, stuff on stream and like be a little slower or I want it. This, this new book is 70 pages, so it's tough to, to balance that. But I do plan on doing a little bit, um, working on side stuff and different pinups. And I'm sure there'll be a little bit of star circuit art that I get to show you. Um, and this book really focuses on the cast and and you, I, specifically his brother Menno Metric his his older brother gets a really his older brother Menno gets a really all right I don't know what that buzzer is for because I didn't set it to a time but whatever uh, so anyway the the his brother really gets a spotlight in this book too so that's fun um, I'm going to finish up drawing this thing for another 10 minutes and then we'll do a raffle. Um, actually, there's people here now. Let's do the raffle now, dude. Yeah, story is very topical. Yeah, and it's, dude, AI is just going to get more and more worrisome. Um, and, dude, just in general, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do with it uh, is once we get there, once we get to the the second half of the book and it really grinds into like um the deeper meaning of things and what i'm trying to do with the actual themes uh it'll get a little bit crazier but for now it's just this kind of superficial race and like um and even more than that you dude what i'm trying to do with this book with chapter two is like really up the the stakes up the ante you're going to be entering different worlds. You're going to be being chased down the craziest type of uh, terrain. He's going to be just everything imaginable. Um, uh, as far as like an action story, I'm trying to put together some fights, some races, uh, some flashbacks, some crazy other world stuff. Um, and like a really crazy villain. Uh, this time it's a an android lieutenant. So Star Circuit 2 has this android lieutenant called Rook. And he's like this, um, he, he, he's like this leader of the squad of, of Android, uh, of drone type assassins that are after, um, Atlas. So we're going to move on, do this do a raffle. Let's see who wants to join in this raffle. We're going to do it really quick and that way I can finish up. Um, let's see my, my live stream, please. Uh, keyword this time, let's just call it, um, hmm. <laughs> okay. All you got to do is type Chad, lowercase Chad in the chat, uh, and you'll be entered to win. Heck yeah. Adam roll. <laughs> Perfect timing, dude. You don't have to, dude, you don't have to pretend if you're lurking the whole time. Like, Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I totally missed you drawing whoops um yeah dude um glad you came came around uh so we're gonna do this raffle let me share my screen here and do the raffle so all you got to do is type chat <laughs> type chat in the chat and heck yeah we're gonna do it so uh 
Billy Basco says, I'm going to do a book called Star Canvas, where the boy he takes on um, Bob Ross. Robo Bob Ross, dude, that's, that's one hell of a story, dude. Uh, I mean, if you came out with it, I would have to uh, put a, I'm sure there's some sort of copyright. That's a little, that's a little infringement right there, bro. Um, logged in, took a shower and came back to camp. Yep, dude, I appreciate you coming back. That's all, that's all that matters. So here we go. Uh, we got a couple entries. There's gotta be more than two. And I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Two of you guys, good enough for me. Just all you have to do is type Chad in the chat. Um, and actually technically no one's entered because like everybody that talked about it before is just Billy. Billy's automatically entered because he typed Chad before. <laughs> So that's pretty funny, um, but anyway, I don't it it don't it don't matter to me. I I wanted to go to somebody in chat that's here here hanging out, um, and so if you want this cool uh, drawing of Black Phantom, type Chad. Okay, we got a few more a few more in there. There we go. I, I all, all I care about is it goes to somebody. So here we go. We're gonna do this thing. Let me go over here and click. All right, let's do it. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Admiral Wackass. <laughs> Sneaks in here with a win, dude. Admiral. I salute you, friend. Uh, uh, what do they say on C? I I is that what they say? Okay. Um, <laughs> glad you came around, dude. Um, you win comics legend. You were two seconds late, man. Um, uh, I clicked it not too long ago, but you got to stick around to, to win. So, uh, keep me in the headphone or something. Uh, and next time you win, but yeah, you freaking won, dude. Congrats. You got the sweet thing. I'm going to finish it up. Uh, it's looking cool. It's looking sweet. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to finish this thing up, uh, in the next, uh, five, 10 minutes and figure out where we're at here. That's where we're at. I think uh, that's totally doable. Totes my goats. Congratulations. All right. And I'll put it on my, I'm gonna put it on my to-do list to change the volume on my trailer so it doesn't kill anybody next time. You got a date to go on? Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Enjoy that date. Um, <laughs> hope it's fruitful. I feel like I'm missing pieces of his design here. Let me uh, bring it up. Yes. So it's kind of like Atlas a little bit. He's got a little bit of a, of a little half calf, a half calf like uh, situation going on here. Dude, keep that autism under wraps, dude. Um, <laughs> actually, just let it let let it rip, dude. Let it rip on that date and see. Uh, ask all the right questions. Okay. I gotta focus. Otherwise, I'd give you some first date advice, which is probably pretty horrible, but. Maybe next time. No 
Okay. Looking badass. Good times. I didn't put his gun on his leg, but we can do that. And either the straps too, so that's something we can do. Actually, that one's facing forward, I think. This leg should be coming at us now.
upper edge here. Pretty close to the end here because the whole point of the challenge is to only make it two hours. I started late on this one, so I'm not really sure where uh, where the cutoff is. But I'm just going to put in a few shadows, give it a little depth. Tell you what, man, it does not feel like 2H lead in this lead holder. It feels like it's HB. It's smudging away more than I thought it would. But again, it could be just that I'm out of the groove. Uh, the origins of Veravia, dude. Um... Or Veravia in Latin, it's a Latin thing, so it, it pretty much means the true path. The, it's pretty much the origins of it, it's like a pun on a couple things. So the true path being, you know, finding the right way through, you know, the hero's journey, but also it's like a pun on the racing line. So when you race, there's like a, an, there's an optimal line for racing. And so Veravia is pretty much the, the racing line. It's like the optimal path to take. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Reese. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, that's what, that's where the origins are.
Okay. Yeah, that'd be funny, <laughs> but uh, you know, Vera, Vera Via could be a robot in Star Circuit. I uh, don't know how <laughs> it'd be the weirdest name ever. Just call him Vera. Vera Mia MK, <laughs> yeah, version uh, three thousand Bender. Okay. Adding a few more things to give it a little bit more depth. Okay, I think we're going to call it pretty close here. The Vera Via Championship Cup. Yeah, dude, that could be a that could be a good mix. I dig it, dude. Genius. I like the chat. <laughs> the genius uh, incorporations into my book. I I think that's probably got a nice ring to it. I'll do off cam because I just need to like sign it and stuff but yeah dude I like it let's see let's give it a better view this way yep. there we go stop the screen and pretty sweet Dude, I'm not saying it, it doesn't sound good, Sherry. I'm, I'm just saying, like, um, I now I got to figure out a way to put it in my book. <laughs> That's the challenge. All right, so 
There you go. I'll probably put another shadow on his left leg. It's the only one that like feels a little bit funky. Like uh, there should be something on his right leg, or your, or his left, or right. Anyway, that's it, everybody. I am. Uh, The Acto 8 even sounds motorcycle-y. <laughs> Octo 8. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down. That way I don't forget. Because it definitely it definitely has got a nice ring to it. Um uh, thank you for joining me guys and uh go congratulate Whack Ass online and give him give him some good uh Good vibes for winning. Uh, the coal man's throwing out Veravia Studios. And that's because Star Circuit is available there. There's still the special edition from uh, the variant cover from Chapter 1. Still available. Uh, the new website's going to be up there real soon. You'll be able to like, read a preview of the book anyway. Uh, but those books are on sale there. You can, I think they're 14 bucks now. So go buy the special edition. That's not coming back to the next campaign. And so, uh, yeah, go have yourself, um, treat yourself a little bit, dude, go to your date, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. So my mic is popping off, man. Hmm. Anyway, peace out everybody. We are, uh, we'll see you next week, Wednesday, six 30, another good Joe show. And, uh, yeah, hit me, hit me a like, and maybe hit me a comment if you, if you want to help out the channel, that's all it needs, bro. All right. Peace, guys.